Hey there, and welcome to this screencast. My name is Mary. In this um, tutorial, I'm going to install Modex Revolution on MAMP. And the process that I'm going to go through is very similar to the process you would go through to install Modex Revolution on any local development environment, whether you're using WAMP server or, um, and when I say any, I mean any that's based on, um, that's the stack of Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So whether you're using WAMP server on Windows, XAMP on uh, Windows and Mac, uh, and MAMP on Mac, these are the, the popular ones. I'm sure there are others out there. But um, if, you're, if you're using any of those stacks, um, the process you would follow is very similar to what I'm going to do. But I'm using MAMP because I'm on a Mac, um, and MAMP is one of the popular Mac stash, um, um, Stacks, sorry about that, stacks of Apache, MySQL, and PHP. All right, so I already have MAMP installed on my laptop, and I'm going to start from there. If you don't have um, any of that installed, I have um, going to add some links at the end of this uh, screencast, right at the bottom. If you scroll down, you'll be able to find some links pointing you to tutorials and instructions on where to download and install these different stacks. Additionally, if you go to the coding pad, codingpad.marispat.com, which is my um, other blog, uh, this, if you go to beginner tutorials and scroll all the way to the bottom of that page, you will find um, what's called a series called the Beginner's Corner. And this is just goes from setting up a local development environment to installing several different scripts. So that's, that's a great little series of screencasts to go through, sort of give you an idea. Um, it's based on working on a PC. So if you're on a PC, then that is a good place to start. But as I said, I'm going to post links at the end of this tutorial. So we're going to install Modex Revolution on um, MAMP. And it's going to be a great sort of sandbox testing ground for different things in future screencasts. And um, I will also do a screencast on how to install uh, Modex Revolution on a hosted server um, and just sort of give you an idea of how to do that, which is sort of the same process as you would do on your local environment, except that in doing that, you're dealing with sort of FTP and other things like that. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, go to modex.com, which is the home of the Modex CMS um, project. If you're not familiar with Modex CMS, then this is a great place to start. Do some reading, do some exploring, and, and um, sort of just get an idea of what Modex is. But it's, it's basically a content management um, system, which is... Has, is very flexible, very powerful, has a lot of framework-like capabilities, and just allows you a lot of flexibility in building out your projects. So we're going to go to Revolution, go to the Modex Revolution downloads, and when there you just want to download the latest stable release, uh, in the time of this recording, it's Modex Revolution 2.0.8, and I already have that downloaded, um, it's right there on my desktop, so I'm gonna um, just double-click it to extract, and while that extracts, you want to make sure that MAMP or whatever stack you're using is already started up and ready to go. All right. Okay, so we have Apache server, MySQL server, everything's nice and green and ready to go. So I'm just going to minimize that and it's opened up um, the home page. So that's great. Okay, so I now have my extracted folder there. So I'm going to open Finder where I have a folder called sites, which is where I place my sites um, that I'm building or working on in my local development environment. So I'm just going to create a new folder here, and I'm just going to call it Revo Sandbox. And that's where my Revo files are going to sit. So I have that open. If I open the downloaded and extracted uh, folder here, what I want to do is I want to grab all these files and just move them here into my Revo sandbox. All right, so that's cool. So now I can just, I can get rid of that. I can throw that in the trash can. Right, so we're good to go. We're ready to roll with that. Now the next thing you need to do, you have uh, Modex downloaded, extracted, files have been placed into the folder where you want to do your install. The next thing you want to do is set up a database. Okay, so Modex needs a database to um, store its data um, all the templates and all that other good stuff is by default stored in a database. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go into PHP my admin. Okay, and I'm going to set up a database. So create new database and I'm going to call it Revo Sandbox. And I want to make sure my connection, my collation is UTF-8 general CI. So I'm going to create that. 
All right. So that's created. And that's about all I need to do at this stage. Uh, Modex is going to do everything else. Now, when you install MAMP, it by default creates a root user with a password root. Um, you have the option to change that. I believe WAMP server creates a root user um, with a username root but no password. I'm not sure exactly what XAMPP does, but you need sort of to know this information. And if you're on a shared server, which I will cover in another screencast, then that's a whole different ball game. You have to create your own user and all that good stuff. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open my Revo Sandbox folder here. So, Revo Sandbox, oops, sorry about that. And I get a 543 error, site temporarily unavailable. So what I need to do, if you look in the folder here, you see that there's a setup folder, so I need to navigate to that. I need to navigate to setup, all right? And it gives me that initial screen for installing Modex Revolution. So choose your language. I'm using English, so that's fine. But you can see that you have other options there. Select. All right, then welcome to Modex. Click the Next button. All right, so here are our install options. We're going to do a simple new installation. All right, if you already have a Modex site sitting there, and this is about upgrading, which I'll cover again in other screencasts. You would want to have upgrade existing install, but we don't have anything existing, so we want to do a complete new installation. We don't want to do an advanced upgrade. This is sort of, you know, a bit advanced, but this is sort of beginner stuff. And you rarely, as far as I know, rarely ever need to do an advanced upgrade. Um, sorry, advanced upgrade again would assume you have a site, so never mind. <laughs> um, so new installation, all right. And new folder permissions, new file permission, that all, that all looks good. So we go to next. And now here's where we want to put our database information. Remember, we created the database in PHP MyAdmin. So database host is usually local host. Um, you're doing this on your local computer, it will be local host. A lot of times on shared hosts, it's still local host, unless your um, hosting company has some other different configurations and they'll have given you that information in your email when you um, set up your account. Then the database login name, I'm using MAMP in its default setting. The login name is root and the password is root. If you're doing this on a shared server or if for some reason you're going to expose your MAMP install to the world and, and you know all that, you want to get a lot more um, anal about your security. You want to get a more complex password that people can't easily guess just to keep things safe. All right, so it assumes that the database, na database name is Modex. However, I have called mine Revel Sandbox, I believe. And I don't mind the table prefix being modex, so that's fine. So we have all that information there. The database type is MySQL. Everything is good. We test database server connection, view collations. It tells us connection was successful. It checks the server and the client version. And again, you want to make sure that where you're hosting, the, the, the server that you're hosting on meets um, minimum requirement. MAMP does, so no problem. And now we want to change the connection set. All right, so we want to have this be UTF-8. And again, remember we set up as UTF-8 general CI, so we want to set that up. And again, I'll post a link at the end of the screencast that explains the difference between collations, why collations are important, okay? So we create or test selection of our database. Um, Modex is able to create the database for you. A lot of hosting environments might give you a problem with this. I just find it cleaner to create the database myself like we did at the beginning. All right, so checking database, success. So now we want to create your default admin user. This is the person who's going to have full um, admin rights on your site, and this is who you're going to log in as the very first time you log in. So I'm just going to use the default admin. Actually, no, I'm just going to change that. I'm going to use Mary. And here you can really, because this is a local environment, you can really put anything here. So I'm just going to put Mary at maryspad.com. That's fine. Um, and for the administrator password, I'm just going to put something simple. All right, and I'm going to confirm the password. All right, and then next. There we go. So pre-installation tests were successful. This is your summary. You want to look at this and make sure everything is okay green. If you have any problems, usually they'll be in red. You want to go back and correct those. But everything happened successfully, so we can now click install. And the Modex installer is going to go ahead and install Modex Revolution on MAMP here for us. Okay, so 
it's working you can see waiting for localhost and while that's going on again if you have a preference for reading tutorials if you like to print stuff and and sort of have it in front of you as opposed to watching a screencast i encourage you to go to the coding pad um, there's a lot of modex tutorials there and lots of tutorials and other stuff you may find something interesting the other place i absolutely encourage you to go is go into the modex website and if you want to just check out different resources for learning just click on learn there's a lot of information there about um, different resources for learning. The official documentation is one of the best places to learn about Modex. It's the best place to learn about Modex. Lots of interesting stuff there. All right. So installation is complete. It says, you know, core installation is successful. And if you want to toggle, you can see all everything that happened, all the tables that were created and they were created successfully and the admin user was created. So all good. Click next. All right. And this takes us to the success page. It says, thank you for installing. Now, you want to do this. You want to check this to delete the setup directory. It's checked by default, but just make sure that it is. Because if you leave the setup directory there, then you run a risk of somebody coming back later, running the setup, and sort of messing up with your files, OK? So let's log in. All right, so I'm going to put in my username there and the password that I created. and log in. And if everything went well, should get the Modex Revolution Backend Manager all ready to go. Um, and we have our sandbox ready to roll. There we go. And um, thanks for installing Modex Revolution and everything was successful. And you can now read this, you know, what now what, what, what are the next steps and what do you want to do? So I'm just going to close that out and save my password. And that's it for this. Uh, for the screencast, we've learned how to install Modex Revolution on uh, local development environment. In my case, I was using MAMP. You may be using WAMP or WAMP server or XAMPP or something different. Steps are pretty much the same. Right, so stay tuned. See you at the next screencast.